Powerful monsoon storms can strike in an instant with flash floods, blinding rain, explosive lightning, and dangerous dust storms. The ABC 15 Forecasters and ABC 15 Desert Doppler are here to keep your family ahead of any monsoon storm. Now, ABC 15 takes you inside Arizona storm season. Monsoon special, destruction in the desert. It's hard to believe it's that time again, but Arizona's most dangerous time of year is here, monsoon season. And during June, July, August, and September, we'll see hundreds of thousands of lightning strikes and blinding dust storms. We may also have heavy rain and flash flooding. Thanks for joining us, and welcome to the Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix. I'm Amy Murphy. I'm meteorologist Rich Dahlquist. And I'm chief meteorologist Amber Sullins. The valley is a fast-growing place, so the monsoon may be new to some of you. We are going to break down exactly what to expect. And for those of you who have experienced it before, this will serve as a reminder of just how dangerous this time of year can be. We live in the Sonoran Desert, arguably the most beautiful desert in the world. It stretches from central Arizona all the way down into Mexico. Here in the valley, it's a very hot and very dry desert, but during the monsoon, huge changes come our way. So what is the monsoon? You might be surprised to learn that it's all about wind. Around the end of June and early July, our wind patterns shift. Southerly winds bring up moisture from the Pacific Ocean, the Gulf of California, and even the Gulf of Mexico into Arizona. All of that moisture, combined with our intense summer heat, produces powerful thunderstorms in and around the valley, making it our most dangerous time of year. These storms can produce very strong winds, huge dust storms, heavy rain, lightning, hail, and flooding. The monsoon season begins on June 15th and lasts through September 30th. But don't be surprised if nature decides to wait a few more weeks before unleashing the power of the monsoon. Dust storms are one of the first signs the monsoon has arrived. Last year, we saw more than a half dozen, making it one of the most bizarre monsoons on record. Typically, we'll see one or two, but to see eight is almost unheard of. Now we'll show you how these giant storms form. When a storm collapses, cold air out in front of it rushes down at an incredible rate, picking up huge amounts of dust. As the dust storm builds, it can completely block the sun, turning daylight into darkness almost instantly, making it impossible to see even a few feet in front of you. This wall of dust can reach heights thousands of feet above the ground and can stretch as far as 100 miles wide. That's the distance between Phoenix and Tucson. You may also hear these storms referred to as haboobs, which is Arabic for the word blown. These monster storms typically last several hours before they fall apart and are most likely to form during the evening rush hour, mainly moving into the valley from the open desert to our south. Our biggest haboob ever observed hit last year on July 5th. Around 7.30, a massive wall of dust rolled in over the Estrella Mountains, pouring into the valley. While haboobs typically tower 1,500 to 3,000 feet high, this monster stood approximately 5,000 feet and stretched the entire length of the valley, from Goodyear to Apache Junction. That's more than 60 miles wide. It downed trees and power lines and caused at least one semi to flip over as winds gusted more than 60 miles an hour. So if you look outside and you see a haboob, it's best to stay indoors. Otherwise you could be hurt by flying rocks and debris. While haboobs create a lot of dust and low visibility, there's a greater danger out there. That greater danger comes from downburst winds. They only last a few seconds, but they cause the most damage every year. Downburst winds happen when rain-cooled air falls from the cloud to the ground at an incredible pace. Unlike the rotating winds of a tornado, winds in a downburst move straight out in all directions from the point where they hit the ground. Once that air hits the ground and spreads out, it gains speed, creating wind gusts stronger than 150 miles per hour. On most days, thunderstorm activity will end in the late evening. When these thunderstorms die down, that's the most common time for a downburst to happen, resulting in severe wind gusts that can cause extensive damage. They don't happen very often, but when they do happen, they happen fast. They knock down telephone poles, trees, and other objects in an instant. 
Downburst winds are also one of the greatest dangers to aircraft. Hundreds of thousands of lightning bolts striking all around us during the monsoon, but only a few actually make it to the ground. We'll explain why. And with the lightning strikes comes roaring thunder. But have you actually stopped to think what thunder actually is? Plus, will this monsoon be as dry as last year's? We have your monsoon forecast. For the latest monsoon information and the most accurate forecast in the valley, check out abc15.com and click on the weather tab. You're watching ABC 15's monsoon special, Destruction in the Desert. When it comes to accurate weather forecasting, the Weather Rate Seal guarantees you're getting the most accurate forecast. And only ABC 15 has earned it five years in a row. ABC 15, the best weather coverage you can count on.